Uh, welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. Uh, this is Color and Chat, and I am Joanna. Today, I want to talk to you. Uh, let me get the schmutzy stuff out of the way first. Um, hi, guys. Having a week, aren't you? Uh, eventually, it will not be 120 degrees outside. I don't know when. It may go on forever. I don't know. But in the meantime, let's have a little chat today and talk about storage. I had one of my favorite creators on the whole planet, Miss Grace, Diamond Painting with Grace, was talking about storage the other day. And it kind of got me to thinking, and I've never really shared with you how I store my diamond paintings. Uh, because, <clears throat> let me tell you something, if you're like me and you're part of this addiction... <laughs> <laughs> you are going to get it going really quick and eventually you could have a real big hoard on your hands or you could have something we like to call a stash that's right we're a bunch of drug dealers and we like our stash um <clears throat> what I wanted to show you because two things I hate in my life it's a ton of clutter. I'll, I'll open the diamond painting so you can see it. I've unboxed this before, so it's not new. But I wanted to show it to you so we could start from the beginning. And I could show you what I do um, when you are storage challenged and you don't have a lot of space for all those boxes and all that plastic. If you could just get the boxes and the plastic out of your way. And if you could go in to your closet and find... A diamond painting option hanging on your hanger wouldn't it be great I mean you could just you know switch it'd be like picking out a sweater it'd be so easy um, you know well that's what I do and I wanted to let people know I uh, begin with now this is a small diamond painting and I'm doing a small one I, I do these on massive ones too I don't have a lot of big, big guys, but the ones I do have, they're hanging in the closet. And what happens is when you put them on a hanger, now, I normally use, for my clothing, I'm a hanger girl. I'm all about the hanger. i got to have a good hanger. It's got to be nice. It's got to be cherry wood. It's got to have little grippies on it. We're not using that today. These are from the Dollar Tree. Your local Dollar Tree will have little felty hangers with hooks on them for a buck. And for getting a big box off of your floor and having no plastic to deal with and being able to find both your diamond painting and your drills together and have it not be a headache for you. It's a is a very good a very good situation. It'll change your whole attitude about the diamond paintings. What I do is I immediately after I unbox and after I say hello to you guys, hello. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time, welcome. And if you're coming back, I'm so glad you came back. All we're gonna do is hook it on the hanger. Now, what happens when you hook this on the hanger is it will lay flat and flatten out in almost no time at all. And you're going to want to take your plastic and pull it back a little bit so that you can help to straighten her out a little bit like that. If it's really, really tightly packed, and sometimes they do come really tightly packed, and you feel like you need to hang it out, but you don't want to, but you need to, you need to straighten it out, but you don't want to wait a week. Just take your hanger, hang on, we're going to go over a little bit. Take your other hanger and clip it across the bottom of the diamond painting. Now these are not heavy hangers and that's the whole point. Um, and hang it like that. If you hang it like that, this has just enough weight to pull her ever so gently 
and straighten. Let me see if I can do this for you. I have dog hair all over me. I just brushed George out and I'm covered. I mean covered. He's shedding like crazy. Okay, this is what happens. You get, you get my point. Um, you're going to put a hanger on the top, hang around, just hang across the bottom. And there you go. Now, I don't want to have my drills in a separate location because let's face it. Once you put it in the closet, you might forget about it and the new and the fun will wear off. I can't wait to do him. Edward the elephant. He's so cute, right? What am I going to do about these guys? All I do is take a baggie and you can use the baggie over and over and over again. Super easy. Slide it in the bag. Pop a hole through the bag and stick it. Oh, I don't know what I did with my hole here. Hold on. Um, now what I'm going to do, push it ever so gently so we don't tear it. Or you could use a, a supermarket bag. If you have all those leftover Walmart bags and you don't know what to do with them, you don't have to use them all for dog poop, although I do use a lot of them. Put the bag with the drills on the hanger. Guess what? No cumbersome box in your closet. No rattly plastic in your closet. And your diamond painting is secured because she has her plastic over her. And she's going to lay flat in the closet if she's bumpy. And I mean, I want to show you something. I did this on the hanger. I, when I first got this, it was wrapped up tighter than a sieve. I mean, it looked bad. <laughs> it was like a really bad cabbage. Anyway, um, I'm doing a small one just for the purpose of video so you can see. I put it on the hanger with the bottom hanger for like an hour. An hour. It did not take three days. I didn't have to put it under the bed for a month. I don't have to sleep with things under my bed going... Hey, get up. Get out of the bed. What are you going to work on me? I don't want to work on you. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Leave me alone. No, no, no. Get up and work on me. I need you to help me. You know, your bed should be a place where the stress goes away, not where it's building up in between the mattresses. This way, if I want to work on this canvas, all I do is go into my closet, which I'm not going in there right now because, because... It is what it is. It's not perfect, but the diamond painting department only takes up about, you know, it, it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. I mean this, it's no more than a sweater, you know? I can literally flip the hangers, look through it, just like you're looking, you know, uh, at those cool rugs on the wall at Ross or TJ Maxx, you know what I mean? And all I have to do is grab my drills and everything is together. And if you could just get the cardboard boxes, um, which I know some people like to keep them, you don't need them, I promise you. Because once you finish it, you're going to frame it anyway. So you might as well have it hanging up and flattened out and easy to look at and easy to find. Anyway, that is my little two cent uh, hack. And I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you are, uh, look, we're getting somewhere with Petunia. I'm very excited. I know, the little head spoon, she's so cute. This is adorable puppy. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I hope that you enjoyed my little tutorial, uh, and uh, I'm just going to stick her in the closet, and we're not going to think about her again until I'm ready to start a new diamond painting. And the bags always fit in a, in a nice clear baggie. You can see what drills you're looking at. Am I doing square? Am I doing round? You can see through it. So a Ziploc bag will save your, save your hide in this situation. Um, and uh, there you go. And they're not taking over my life, which they easily could because I love diamond painting so much. And it is a great deal of fun. But... Um, let me know what you do to store your diamond paintings. Do you keep them all in the boxes? 
Do you stash the boxes in the closet? Do you just leave them all over your living room? Where do they go? Where do they live when you're uh, preparing to work on them and when you're finished with them? Because they all, they all need a place to live that is comfortable and happy. And I think Edward the Elephant will be happy waiting for a little while while I get my petunia finished and my Christmas stuff done, I gotta get these guys up on the wall before I can work on him. He is a two day project. He's a snack. He's so easy, even though all of this is confetti. <laughs> I don't know if you guys notice this or not. And he's square, so this is gonna be a whole new challenge for me. And I can't wait, I can't wait. Um, because he has a lot of little details He's not nearly as pixelated as I thought he would be. Anyway, um, let me know. What are you doing with your stuff? I would love to see it. I've got big diamond paintings hanging in my closet, and they're not bothering anybody. I don't have to keep the raw, uh, the, the crackled up boxes. Um, and they really save on storage. And then I have a coat hanger, actually, in my closet, too, just one of those Dollar Tree Christmas coat hangers that, you know, the wreath hanger, you know, that you get like for a buck to hang your wreath on. Get a couple of those and hang them on your closet door. They're great for like the tubes that you do want to keep that you may not want to throw away because, you know, I know Craftably has great tubes. And, uh, boy, that came out all wrong, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, they have storage kits that are very well i won't say well hung they're hanging so they're hung but you know what i mean I, don't worry about it okay you guys get your head out of the gutter and go organize your diamond paintings and treat them with love because they loved you and you have to love them back shine on everybody shine on have a great day and i'll talk to you in my next video bye <music>